AI tools are having an impact on teaching and learning of science. Like any other subject, AI tools can make learning much easier for science students as well. In this video, I'll be exploring six AI tools that teachers, students and educators can use to make teaching and learning much easier. See links below in the description. To start with, I've got SciSpace. SciSpace is a tool that you can use to chat with the PDF. It can help you to write con about concepts. It can help you to paraphrase. It can help you to extract important information and it can convert your PDFs to videos as well. Easy for you to share with your class. And so on here, I was having a chat with, a, with this tool and on the PDF that has been uploaded on the side over here. I've used that and now the next tool that I'm next feature that I'm looking at would be AI detector. So what I've done is I have copied a few sentences from ChatGPT and I put that in here as well and then I've written a few things from my side and then I have analyzed that and this gives me a report of 43% which has been copied from AI and uh, so this is a tool that teachers can use as well and it goes across other AI tools as well. Now the next one that I'm looking at is Consensus. So Consensus is a tool that can help you with your research. So what I've done here is I've been researching about this topic and I've gone in and I've created a short list of different articles that I can use for my research. Now, if I'm not happy with that, I can go and further uh, do my research and look at important concepts that I can explore on the topic that I've been discussing. So here, uh, it comes up with a list of articles that I'll be using. So instead of me going to Google and, and trying to look for multiple articles, so this allows me to use one platform, put in the topic, and it helps me to generate a list of articles that I can use for my research and for my study as well. The next tool is useful for studying, for resource creation and so on. So if I'm looking at this topic over here, all I've done is I've gone in and copied and pasted my topic. And this is the mind map that has been generated so it comes up with different features. It comes up with uh, graphics as well. Good for students that are visual. The next tool that I can use would be SciSpace. SciSpace is a tool that helps me to discuss articles with students in class. So here is a short summary of the whole article. It gives me opportunity for me to chat with the tool as well. So I've gone in, imported the, uh, imported the PDF I've gone in and asked questions on it. Now here, it has generated some prompts that I can use for discussion papers as well. So I've gone in and looked for summary of the main ideas and it tells me which pages they can be found on as well. The next one, next tool that I use uh, would be, the next feature that I'm using would be that, figures. So figures helps me to create a list of figures that have been used in the article. And it also helps me to create a discussion on that. So for instance, I have clicked on that. It gives me a quick explanation about this feature that has been explored over here on this article. And I've done the same thing with multiple ones as well. So if I go in, here's a short summary of the diagram that has been given in the article. I can do the same thing with any of these diagrams, which I'm not quite familiar with I can go in and click on that and ask for explanation and then I can go in and ask a question on that as well so these are the things that you can do with size summary so good tool that can be used by teachers and students as well next one is Wolfram Alpha so this is the tool that helps you to create discussions and helps you to create resources for your class as well. So it comes up with multiple topics like physics, chemistry, and, and units measurements as well. So if I click on chemistry as well, so if I'm looking at that, and for instance, if I'm trying to explore that, it all it does is it gives me a detailed explanation about any concept that I'm studying in science. It can help me to create 
visual, a 3D structures on it, uh, liquid, um, it says here properties on it and basic properties and so on. Uh, I can also go back and do the same thing with the physics classes as well. So if I go and click on that, and if I'm looking for mechanics, uh, distances and so on as well, I can go and convert stuff and I can get detailed explanation on things. I can create equations, I can get visuals, I can download that page, sh uh, share that with my class, or I, if I'm a student, I can download that and share with my classmates as well. So there's heaps of things that you can do with this tool as well. Now, the final one that I'm looking at would be to teach.ai. This is a good way to create lesson plans. It helps you to create uh, worksheets from YouTube videos, create Kahoot as well, create a presentation, it helps you to create graphics, websites as well. So these are, it can, uh, if you if you're on a paid version, it helps you to create lesson unit plans as well. Uh, worksheets are quite easily done with this tool as well. So if you click on um, that icon over here, it helps you to create worksheets on the topics that you that you are sitting in class. All you do is you put in the topic over here, and then you go ahead and create worksheets. The worksheets look something like this. So if you are creating a on any topic that you're writing so it look something like that so if you you can actually go ahead and you can download that change it to make it more personalized make it more um, conducive to your class as well so you can download as a PDF you can down you can share the link so these this tool helps you to create your lesson plans finally the tools that I've used today are size space which is used for why for summary, it's used for study purposes as well. Uh, consensus is mostly used for research and study. M mind maps uh, are used for mostly study purposes and as a teaching resource as well. The next one would be size summary. Good tool for you to unpack uh, articles that you've been using in class. All from Alpha, good for studying, good for sharing resources, and good for note taking as well. The last one is for teachers. Uh, that are trying to plan using AI tools. So if you found these tools helpful, do like, subscribe and share with others.